Uh, well, it was a very disappointing result, but it wasn't entirely a um, surprising result because uh, when I took over as leader or interim leader two months ago, there was no campaign. Absolutely nothing had been done when this should have been planned at least six months to 12 months before. So we had uh, very little time to put a campaign together and in actual fact to even find candidates. We managed to get 554 candidates. We picked ourselves up from the bottom. I knew that it was going to be a difficult result. I'd hoped for more wins. Um, but in fact, I did uh, kind of predict on, with Joe Coburn on Tuesday that I expected us to get between 5 to 7 percent of the vote. Uh, on an analysis of about uh, 16 councils, 100 candidates, it's about 7.5 so far. So I think I was fairly accurate there. And that means that we're still a force to be reckoned with because if you can get six, uh, you know, 5 to 7 percent of the votes in a general election, you're a force to be... Yeah, but hang on, Gerard, you know as well as I do, you're on three seats at the moment. Uh, you know, you've lost 121. Um, uh, it's difficult to define that as a force to be reckoned uh, with. Well, uh, I, I had, I had not, I'm not saying that's a good result. I'm being perfectly honest with you. I'm very disappointed in that, and I hope we've done better. In the circumstances, as I said, I don't think anyone in UKIP will be vastly surprised by that. Uh, but you've got to remember that in the past, we have, we have uh, gained... Uh, a re uh, influence and result in politics. We got the referendum without having any seats in Parliament whatsoever um, at, uh, you know, during our long history of campaigning for that. And if we can still command 5 to 7 percent of the vote now in the situation that we have been left in, then I think that's a strong base for us to build on for the future. The point is, you know better than I do, that uh, after you know, nearly two years after the referendum, uh, Theresa May now trying to get some kind of Brexit deal together. Uh, the question has been asked repeatedly, and it will be asked after this mm. performance again, no matter how hard you've worked. What's the point? What's mm. the point of UKIP now? <clears throat> well, I think that people are going to realise that we're not going to get a full exit. I mean, two, you're quite right, two years of doing nothing when actual fact they should have got straight on to the job the week after the referendum. But Mrs May was a Remainer, she doesn't really want to leave anyway. We have a Labour Party that doesn't really want to leave. And what they're trying to do is delay the whole process so that we end up with a deal whereby, well, we, we leave but we don't really leave because there'll be so many constrictions and impediments on us anyway that we might as well not have bothered.